So I love the uh, black envelopes from Bold Fork Club. I certainly do. And this is Krell, a collaborative remix of a project by MATLAB. <clears throat> Domes kindly donated by Snaptron. Well, what do we have here? A control guide for <clears throat> amplitude, low frequency oscillator, pulse width. It's a synthesizer. Amplitude, low frequency oscillator, waveform, and DC zero in pitch, LF, pulse width. Yeah. It's a synth. It is a synth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. This must be the board in here. Um, okay. Yeah. So those clicky buttons, right? So dome buttons that. Um, I suppose are adhesive backed and will mount on there. I'll definitely go read the instructions, but yeah, you get the clicky button feel, the tactile button. And then we have, what do we have in our bag of goodies? <clears throat> I would guess some potentiometers. Indeed, we have, I wonder, it might be a microcontroller. I'm going to have to dig out there. Okay, headphone jack. Yes, a bunch of pots to go around the edge. Like this, trimmer pots with, yes, little, um, oh yeah, that's nice. It's nice. A synth in your pocket. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And one surface mount component to solder on to here. That's a switch. Powered by three triple A's. Could probably change the power source if we wanted to. But it doesn't look like it relies on a lot of external components. It's just a bunch of pots, um, some switches, a few resistors, the whatever this is. God, I oh, I'm so curious. It, it'll be it'll be on the uh, it'll be on the website. I'll just not peel the sticker off because I don't want it to look crappy. And then headphone jack. That looks like this guy right here. At least that's what I'm guessing. So I wonder what it's using to generate the sound. Maybe this isn't a microcontroller. Maybe it is some kind of um, oscillator. <clears throat> oscillator chip. Well, we'll find out. What do we have here? Uh, I can't quite read that. Need the magnifying glass. Still can't read that. KY 5033. I have to look that one up. A couple of LEDs and some capacitors for, well, DC blocking out, I would imagine, as well as, well, usual things you use capacitance for input filtering. All right. All right, these might, these might be a, for an amplifier circuit. Uh, Darlington pair amplifier circuit, possibly. I don't know. Anyways, we will take a look at the uh, at the instructions and see what uh, see what direction we go. Huh? So it's a DS pick thirty three. 
It's a DS Pick 33. That one of the first soldering projects I ever did was try to make a um, try to make an oscilloscope um, with the DS Pick 32. And um, one of the reasons I chose the DS or the Pick uh, DS series is because they have some fairly um, good ADC um, and, uh, and DAC. Uh, peripherals built into that um, family of microcontrollers. So uh, that's probably why they're choosing it here. I'm not 100% sure, but that would be my guess. And there it is. So let's pop some batteries in here and see if it works. Yeah, well, that's what it's supposed to do. Lights are supposed to blink, and then they're supposed to run in sequence. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Glad I threw that together. <laughs> got this huge smile on my face. Oh my god!
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Glad I threw that together. <laughs>